Welcome to Just Lou Comics. I'm Lou. I have a haul I got from uh, Florida. Went to Florida a couple weeks ago. Visit parents, and we stopped by mm, Melbourne Beach. And there's, they told me there was a flea market around there that we should visit. And so we went. I got these books. Most of there was two spots that had comics. One spot had 40 for 12, 40 comics for 20, so 50 cents each. The other one basically a dollar each. And I mixed them up already, so I don't know what came from where, but it was the same flea market. I picked up Cry for Dawn, Genesis Edition, 1999 Wizard Exclusive uh, from Cyrus Comics. Of course, Joseph Michael Lis uh, Lisner. As a concept art, is a, you know, kind of like a sketchbook. I found this that I thought was pretty interesting. Speed Racer number one. Let's write that out. Uh, it's the uh, fifth anniversary edition, 1992. Uh, now comics. I've seen this myself from uh, eBay for anywhere from 5 to 20. Uh, square Prestige format. I found it for like 50 cents. Yeah, it was 50 cents. Next up, we have Crow City of Angels. Yeah, uh, the variant cover uh, from the movie, that awesome movie that everybody loves. 1996, with uh, write, writing by John Wagner, art by Dean Orstrom. Keep the same comics. I'm a fan of the movie, The Mummy, one and two. Three is alright, but they changed TV. Uh, this is the Mummy movie prequel, Rise and Fall of Zang Zango's Axe. It's 2 of 4. Uh, before Mummy 2 of the Emperor Dragon, night, uh, 2008. Written by Joshua Jake Jacuba. Mm -hmm. Stephen Mooney and Lisa Jackson on the colors. On the, on the cover, on the colors. Yeah. Free comic book day, I hate image. Scotty Young cover. Colors by Jean Francis Bellu. I don't know how to say that name. No, I don't think I was even close. G.I. Joe, Free Comic Book Day, number 155 and a half. This is uh, Free Comic Book Day 2010. Written by Larry Hammer. Um, art by Augustine Padilla. Cover art by Linus Oliver Wynn. Wynn. Free Comic Book Day 2014. Uh, Zen Scopes Entertainment number zero. Grim Fairy Tales with uh, writing duties from Joe Busha and art by Sheldon Go. Cover by Ivan Nunez. This was a cool find. Secret City Saga. Jack Kirby, Secret City Saga, um, it's number two, sealed in bag. Uh, it has this is full of greats here. You got uh, art by Steve Ditko, Jack Kirby, uh, John Byrne, Janice Parker, uh, trading cards with Dave Gibbons and John Byrne, Bill Sinkowitz, uh, Jack Kirby on the cards again. Pretty awesome. I had to pick it up. Fifty cents a dollar. Why not? Life with Archie, uh, number 117, this is a beater copy, but 15 cent for 50 cent, you can't go wrong. Free comic book day, Adam Fuse cover, uh, Betty Veronica, volume 2, number 1, 2017 free comic book day, written and art by Adam Hughes. Alien 3, Dark Horse Comics. Uh, 1992, uh, Steve Grant writing and Christopher Taylor on the hour. Mark likes uh, aliens. I picked that out for him. It's a cool little find here. Blade of the Immortal, number 20. Rins Bane, 2 of 2 storyline. Uh, Hiroki Samura. This sells for like 7 bucks on eBay, number 20. 
תקופת. Comics Greatest World, Week 3. This is the first appearance of Titan, uh, Dark Horse Comics, 1993. Covered by Walt Simonson. Writing by Mike Richardson and Barbara Kessel. Art by Lee Weeks, Brian Anthorpe, and Jimmy Palmietti. Woods, Thunder Agents, uh, The Lost Comics, 1986, written by Keith Griffin, or art by Mike Harris, Jerry Ordway, Jose Morans, Patty Cockerham, Mike Callan. Um, Thunder Agents, I thought it was pretty cool. I looked, uh, did a little research on this. Thunder Agents, got all the dots. Thunder, the higher United Nations Defense Enforcement Reserves. This is a shield type of team. X Moons, uh, Attorney Comics, uh, number one. Dave Lawrence, art by Rom Lim, Mike Witherby. Not bad. Dungeons and Dragons, In the Shadow of Dragons, number five. Uh, Kesner and Company. Written by Jay Donovan, art by Tyler Walpole. Wife picked this out. Good old Dust Blow number one. Black uh, Red Embossed Flipbook. Cybernary number one on the back. First appearance of Cyber Cybernary. Co creators um, Brandon Choi and Jim Lee. Scripts by Steve Gerber. Art by Nick Manabat. And Jimmy, and I put it so you can see the other side of the cover. Let me show that off. Right. Visitor Valley Comics, 1995. Kevin Van Took writing, Bernard Chang, Bob McLeod, McLeod, McLeod. This freaked me out for a second, but. Uh, Arbiter 24, I thought it was number one for a minute, uh, with Maurice Fontenot writing, Howard Simpson, and Gonzalo Mayo. Still brought it, uh, I hope it's good story, good read. Little DC here, Teen Titans, number one, this is the C issue, uh, Kevin McGuire, I think they, uh, I think they call it the Red Bird cover, by the way, but... Written by Marv Wolfman. Early Adam Hughes work here. Uh, Art Adam Hughes, Carl Kessel. Pretty cool. I got DC Comics uh, 52, uh, week 18, 2006. Greg Rucker writing. Eddie Barrows and Joe Bennett on art. I'm gonna find my wife picked up DC Superhero Girls Free Comic Book Day 2017. Shea Fontana and Yancy Labat. Next up, Mask number three, volume two, 1987. Uh, Michael Fleischer and Kurt Swan on art. Some Virgo books here. Jack of Fables, number 19, DC Virgo, 2008, Bill Willingham, Russell Braun, and Andrew Pepoli. Pepoli. Uh, Loveless, number 9, DC Virgo, 2006. Uh, you got Brian Azzarello, Marcelo Fusion, and Tris Mulhill. Fusion, Marcelo Fusion. Tough names in the Virgo books. Got Loveless number 24. Yeah. Uh, Brian Azzello, Dan Gio, Ziz Zizilge, and Lee Lofridge on art. Tough names. Hellblazer Presents 
Chaz the Knowledge, number five, Virgo. Uh, Simon Oliver, Goran Sedzuka, and Matt Hollingsworth. Our team, uh, these uh, I got the same place, but they were like a dollar or two for the thinner uh, trades. Uh, this is Vertigo Resurrected, John Constantine, Hellblazer number one. Um, a Prince Hellblazer number 57 58. Body and Soul, uh, Garth Ennis, Steve Dillon stories, and then also Hellblazer number 245 to 246, Newcastle Calling by Jason Aaron and Sean Murphy. I read a couple of those issues, but I haven't read all of them. John Constantine Hellblazer. There's a shot here. Uh, Number 242 with Andy Diggle, Leonardo Manco, and Lee Lofridge. This is a big trade here. I showed this uh, to Meta Rogers' channel on his uh, support video. I mean, uh, this is John Constantine Hellblazer's Joyride. We print uh, numbers 230 to 237. Andy Diggle. Uh, writing uh, Leonardo Manco and this is the first run for Andy Diggle on the uh, Hellblazer I picked up um, uh, DC Milestones Blood Snicket number one B cover I uh, think I have the bag I'm not sure uh, written by Dwayne McDuffie Trevor Von Eden, Andrew Papoy, Janet Jackson, not that one. Covered by Dennis Cohen and Jimmy Palmiotti. Uh, Blood Snicket, first appearance of Blood Snicket. Uh, Third Rail, Y Sun, Holocaust, DMZ, Flashback, Brick House, Fade, Masquerade, and Tech Nine. Cool stuff. I heard uh, they might bring that back. That'd be cool. This was a nice five for 50 cent. Static 1D sealed. I had this before. I believe I had it signed. But I can't find it. So I picked up another one. Uh, first appearance of Static. This is a poly, you know, sealed poly bag. Um, um, static. Uh, Virgil Hawkins. Uh, the first appearance of Hot Streak also. Uh, written by Dwayne McDuffie. John Paul Leon. Steve Mitchell. Noel Giddings, covered by Dennis Cohen. That's uh, that static's on sale. Wow, for time. I remember it being higher at one point, but right now I see it on eBay for like ten bucks. And I don't have many of these, but I'm starting getting into them. Marvel Saga. This is number six eighty six. The uh, official history of the Marvel Universe. Uh, written by Peter Sanderson, Paul Ryan, Brett Breeding. And I got number six. Also by Peter Sanderson, uh, by Paul Ryan, and Walter Sanderson. Filling in my Marvel Age run. It's Marvel Age 48. Covered by Kerry Gamil. Marvel Age 52. Uh, Steve, Marshall Rogers. Steve Rogers cover. Marshall Rogers during the cover. Marvel Age number 87, 1990, Mark Teixeira on the cover. Marvel Age 103, 1991, Jeff Johnson and Terry Austin on the cover. Not too, not too shabby. This is Marvel Age 120, uh, 1993, Alan Jewish and Mark Farmer cover. Oh, there's a back cover to it too. We got uh, Tom DeFalco on the back. I thought I showed it to you. It's pretty cool. A bit of a wrap cover. Uh, My Rage 121, 1993. Mike Kazali cover. My Rage 122, uh, 1993. P. Craig Russell, 
that uh, we picked up a second copy and it also had a back cover so I thought I'd show that so we're gonna get me and my wife both hunt so sometimes we pick up the same ones Marvel age 125 um, Dwayne Turner Covey Chris Ivy 1993 Also has the back cover, Fabian Messiza and Night Thrasher. Pretty cool. So this cover, I had to have it. Thought it looked pretty hot. Squadron Supreme, Volume Three, Two Thousand Eight, uh, Number Three. Howard Chaykin, Marco Torini, covered by Greg Land. Marvel Comics presents. Number 147. Lenny Kamenisky, Mariano Messiza, Chris Cooper, John Ficaroa, full of people here. Reggie Jones, David Cullen, Larry Lieber. Some artwork from Larry Lieber. Robert Brown, Ray Garcia, Colin McNeil. First appearance on Siphon in this issue also. Vengeance there on the cover. Pretty cool. Sixteen oh two number five. It's the first appearance of Sir Reed Richards, Stu Storm in this issue. Uh, Neil Gaiman on the writing duty. Uh, Andy Cooper, Richard Isinove, covered by Scott McNolan. The cable number fifty seven. Written by Joe Casey. Art by Ryan Benjamin, Scott Hanna. Cover got uh, by Jose Landron and Juan Velasco. If you come with Day Wolverine, with the stamp, Famous Faces and Funnies. I don't know what's in Melbourne. This might be where I was. Uh, 2009 Wolverine Orange of an X Men. Uh, written by Fred Valente. Art by Goody Hiru. Cover by Ed McGinnis, Mark Farmer, Jason Posner. This is one of those uh, sealed annuals. Back in 93, uh, first Devourer, Daredevil Annual number 9. Written by Greg Wright. Art by John Hebeck he he and Fred Fredericks. Another one out for my wife for Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, number one, 96. And a Blom Phantom starting in all select comics. This is a throwback to the Atlas days. Uh, uh, written by Mark Guggenheim. Uh, also written by Michael Kupperman. He did some of uh, the artwork along with Javier Polito. Javier Rodriguez. Uh, the first um, also comics back in 1946. The Blonde Phantom and Marvex type of. It was way back in 1946, so it's still Atlas. Destroyer, Volume 3, uh, 2009, Marvel Max. This is a uh, 2 of, of, of 1 of 5, I'm sorry. Robert Kirkman on writing duty. Corey Walker, Val Staples, covered by Jason Pearson. The first appearance of Horde. Nice little pickup there. Free Comic Book Day, 2008. Marvel Adventures. Uh, Paul Tobin writing. Alvin Lee, Terry Pallet, and Will Quintana. On the colors, very cool looking. It's also with the stamp, famous. Faces of funnies. Whoa. And West Melbourne. This is a little dirty, but 50 Cent. Spider Man Get Craven, number 2, 2002. Pick it up a little bit. Ron Zimmerman. John McRae. James Hopkins. Covered by Joe Casada and David Mickey. Next up, Free Comic Book Day 2007, number 1. Amazing Spider Man. 
written by Dan Slott, uh, art by Phil Jimenez, Andy Landing, Jeremy Cox. First appearance of Mr. Negative. Been looking for this one. Uh, and Override. Uh, Mr. Negative is going to be in the Spider Man game coming in September. Can't wait for that. It's already bought and paid for. Ultimate Spider Man number 150, 2010. Got a bunch of people in this one. You got uh, Brian Michael Bendis, of course. Art by David Lafuente, Sarah Pacelli, Joel Jones, uh, Jamie McLevin, Scotty Young, First Whiplash, and Mag Mangog. Nice fat book, damn. 50 Cent. Love it. Watch with Spider Man 151. This is a series I did really collect. Now I'm starting to uh, pick them up. Uh, I got a long way to go. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number 151, 2011. Brian Michael Bendis, Sarah Pacelli, Justin Posner, covered by David LaFuente. Cool sounding name, if you ask me. I didn't know about this series. I found this one. Uh, American, Amazing Spider-Man, American Son, number 104, to 2010. Uh, written by Brian Reed and Joe Comanga. Art by Philippi Briones, Todd Nock, Marco Dervinovic. Dervinovic. It's a mouthful. I'm always uh, finding series, especially these mini series of one shot Spider Man that I didn't know even existed. So many of them. Uh, this is Amazing Spider Man uh, America Sun, 204. Got two more to find. Spectacular Spider Man. 185, 1992. J.M. DeMattis, Sal Buscema, Bob Sharon. I believe I have that already, but what else is new? The Spectacular Spider Man 186. Same team, J.M. DeMattis, Sal Buscema, Bob Sharon. Bob Sharon. Here is Peter Parker Spider Man, Volume 2. Number 17, uh, Howard Mankey writing, John Romita Jr., Scott Hanna, Joe Roses, uh, covered by uh, John Romita Jr. and Augustine Moss. He's always tell with John Jr. drawing. Very distinct covers. I mean, our work is Peter Park, Spider-Man, Volume 2, Number 18, 2000, Howard Mankey, Graham Nolan, Scott Hanna, Gregory Wright, on the interiors, is John Romita Jr. on the cover along with Scott Hanna. Here's a uh, spectacular Spider Man, not spectacular, Peter Parker Spider Man, excuse me. Volume 2, number 19, 2000, Howard Mackey, John Romita Jr., Scott Hanna, Joe Rosas, covered by Eric Larson. Nice. Is Peter Parker Spider Man Volume 2, number 20, 2000. Paul Jenkins writing. Uh, got Mark Buckingham, Dan Green, and Joe Rosas. Uh, Joe, Bucky, Joe Buckingham and Augustine Mass on the cover. Finally, we end with Peter Parker Spider Man Volume 2, number 41, slash 139. I don't know. Uh, written by Paul Jenkins, Mark Buckingham, Wayne Foster, covered by Humberto Ramos, uh, Wayne Foster, and Edgar Delgado. That is my haul. That is from Renegers. Renegers, I just remembered. Uh, Renegers Free Market in Melbourne. Uh, that's my haul. Hope you like it. Peace. Louis out.